Tito and Lawler to start. older, 3 inches taller, and 34 pounds heavier. Five years older, um, six inches taller, seventy pounds heavier. Wonder if Brad can stop him. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh boy, this is going to get tank much. This is just for... Is it? To get this on the fire. Is the USC Arvovskian Hughes. I mean, Penn and Hughes in the semifinal. They set it up per the random draw. He is an expert in the softball and the kickboxing. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Right out of six, no move.
Oh yeah, he was pen in the semis. Before that, there's still another, some, man, he was in pen, he to qualify. It is Lawler and Goodrich. One of these guys will get in, I hope it's Goodrich, for national sake. He is an expert in the Militich fighting system. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing 170 pounds. Fighting out of Davenport, Iowa. know that. So the winner of this gets not only into the final of this tournament, but they get to go to the Super 8s. Alright, here we go gentlemen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on guys! Basically, whoever wins head and fuse, if they win this match and beat the good bridge, then the other guy will get the other wild card, and that means that the third will not have a wild card for the
qualifies for the tournament. We'll see if he can be good rich. <coughs> He's gotta be good rich. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is so good rich wins while or gets the wild card. But it doesn't mean that he might get that one. It will depend on the third turn. If he wins, he gets 10 to the wild card. 10 will qualify, and then group 20 will be the one that will have to uh, You can't rule out the third. black belt is martial arts cross training. He has a fourth degree black belt at Kutsu He's the 1993 Canadian amateur super heavyweight boxing champion.
Shocker, he was KO'd him. Wow.